SDX is back as a sponsor and a participant again in String League Season 3. These guys have been around the block with us, they know what's going on, and you can guarantee that they're going to offer up a tough challenge. How tough is it? I'm going to let the guys at STX explain exactly what's going on. I'm Kyle Harrison, and I want to welcome you to STX's challenge in String League Week 5. For this challenge, we asked stringers to take a stab at the Surgeon 700 with memory mesh. They had to use the channel lock and suspension rail in order to create the most ideal attacker's pocket. Small little detail twist here. They couldn't let the mesh touch the head. With that, they came up with some pretty interesting concepts. All right, let's go into our prizes for this week's winners. Third place, a Stallion 700. Second place, a Stallion 700 and a piece of memory mesh. First place, Stallion 700, memory mesh, and a Stallion side tie. Here are the rankings. Number six, Philip Pierce. Very cool design here, and the pocket looks fantastic. However, you didn't utilize the suspension rail. Had you used the suspension rail, you would have easily cracked the top three this week. Number five, Chris Burke. Very creative here. Overall, looks really cool, but doesn't really create a pocket that I would think for an attacker. Number four, Matt Simpson. Great pocket. Looks really cool, and the knots were really well done here. You can definitely see the channel in a low pocket, which is great for an attacker. Number three, Chris Deal. My man, really cool design here, and definitely use the channel lock how it needed to be used to pull the mesh up to create a tighter channel. Also, you have a great low pocket for the ideal attacker setup. Number two, Taylor Smoke. This one is legit. It has the pocket we were looking for in this challenge, and he utilizes a channel lock hole in the suspension reel. Great job. Number one, Richie Bennett. Wow, the color setup reminds me of the 90s for sure. This pocket looks awesome and the top string is sweet using an abbreviated Bennett braid in the channel lock. As expected, Richie did a great job and he didn't even think about cutting the mesh. Sometimes it's the simplest things that will get the job done. String League isn't just about winning one competition or stringing one good stick. It's about producing quality work week after week. Let's see how we're doing now on the leaderboard. These guys have a couple contests under their belt. The Stein 700 has to feel like it's on a different plane. It's an honest, aggressive, emotional design. As, as a player, you don't want to have to think about your equipment or worry about is it going to perform the right way or is it going to let you down, whatever it is. You want to be focused on whatever the play is that you have to make on the field. And, and for me, the Stallion uh, equipment line is perfect for that. Jumping from uh, fantastic 500 level heads to a 700 level head means we've achieved a special level of form and function. We've taken a product that was great and just made it even better. What's great about the STX R&D team is that I can tell them as a player and as an athlete something that I want to see happen to a product and something that I think would make me a better player and they're able to then take that information and put it into the product. We initiated a project called Project Stallion where we dug into the Stallion players and the first piece that really fell into place was the speed scoop. We didn't just make the head stiffer, we looked at literally every piece. So the C-channel, for example, we made minute little adjustments to make the C-channel better, to make it more durable, even than it was. We made minor adjustments to the stringing based on what the Stallion player needs. Again, you see and you like what it looks like, but the second you play with it, I mean, it, it's, it's the best available. The geometry looks familiar, but even there, there are little minute adjustments to the top rail and to the bottom rail and to the way that the two forward struts interact with the top and the bottom rail, all to improve it everything that the player's concerned with. Getting to watch the company evolve over the past 10 years, it's just been incredible to watch the equipment get better and better and better. And so again, as the athlete gets bigger, faster, stronger, the equipment will reflect that. And I think, where does STX go? We, we continue to do what we've done uh, since the beginning, which is just make the best product and be the industry leader.